What is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video and today we will finish off our landing page component. So we already have our three sub components um, and the only thing we still need to do is we need to align them properly. So what we want is we want to have something like this so everything is properly centered. And uh, before we continue, let's just do one more thing. So I just noticed that we didn't commit our changes in the last video. So let's just do that before. So we can say git status, git add dash a, git commit dash m, add search suggestions, git push. Okay. Pretty important to always push your stuff so that the changes you have are not that big. Okay, nice. So that's it. And let's run this again. And there we go. So we still have everything is like before, but we've now committed our changes. Nice. So now that we've committed our changes, let's just talk about how we are going to center all of that. So let's go back to our landing page. And um, yeah, somehow everything or like all items seem to be centered in here, right? So let's just do one thing. Let's go back and let's go to our landing page and let's just do the following. We will just say search area and then we can say display flex and flex direction column. Now you might be wondering why are we using or why are we creating this class? Well, what we can do is we can put all of these elements inside a flex container that aligns its items vertically. So a flex container with a direction column. And then we can tell the container to center all of its items. So with that, we should actually get pretty close to what we want to achieve. And this is exactly what we're doing right here. So uh, let's first wire everything up so we can say class name equals uh, styles uh, at search area. And as you can see, you see nothing because everything we did was we just added another wrapper uh, on top of it. Or like another parent wrapper but there's just one little trick we can do we can just go back and say align items center oh that looks pretty neat right yeah that's that's kind of cool so this is basically really really close to what we want and now you might be wondering, wait, wait, hold on a second. Like before that, we used align items to align something vertically. So why is it now aligning horizontally? Well, the reason for that is because we don't, we have a column flex container. So align items always aligns your, the elements inside the flex container on the axis that is perpendicular to the flex containers direction. So that sounds a little bit weird. Let's just put it like in a real simple way. If you have a flex container that aligns its items horizontally, so flex direction row, then align items is going to center them vertically. If you have a flex container with a column orientation, then align items is going to center your items horizontally. So it's basically always the other direction, right? So if it's column, it's going to align it in the row direction. And if it's row, it's going to align in the column direction. Uh, this is might be a little bit confusing about Flexbox, but uh, this is how it works. So this is already pretty nice. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is that the spacing here is not quite right. So let's go back to our um, search suggestions and let's just say margin top one RAM. Ah, 
that's good that's good that's really good the only thing that we still need is we need to make this top navigation bar or like we need to squeeze it sort of and one way to do this let me first show you how to do it and then like we can talk about it because it's not that easy to explain in, in an abstract way we'll just say we'll create a new class we'll make this a flex container as well and then we're going to say justify content center and we will do we will create a new parent container we're going to wrap our column flexbox container in here and then we will say uh, styles dot landing and wow this is exactly what we want and now you might be wondering wait 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 like why exactly do we need this well if we only had one flex container then the top navigation bar would expand arbitrarily because there's just no constraint so it will take everything it can get because this is how we set it up like we told the, the left item hey please expand as much as possible right and um, this is the actual issue so by wrapping this in an additional flex container so that we have a flex container inside a flex container and then centering that item uh, we can force the top bar to have the same width as the search bar because the search bar itself will determine the width of the column flex container and this is exactly why this works now this is if this is a little bit confusing like i can totally understand that um, it's flexbox is sometimes really a little bit weird but i guess it just comes with practice so like don't be discouraged if this is somehow weird or not not totally clear i think if if you practice it like a lot more then you will understand how it works eventually so this is pretty nice we have everything we wanted so yeah i mean that's pretty good i like that a lot um apart from that do we need to do anything else no so we're pretty much done with our landing page the only thing we should still do is we should commit our changes so we can say okay what did we change yep that looks okay so we can say git add dash a git commit dash m mm, let's say uh, adapt layout and then we say git push yeah so that's it for our landing page we're done with all the components uh, thank you very much for watching please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so